I'm on my way to my laser hair removal appointment. Um, I've been going for the last few months, about every four to six weeks, to deal with pesky chin hairs. Mm. All right, and I'm walking into the exam room and you can see here, this is the laser that's gonna be used, an ND YAG laser. Uh, and now my technician is cleaning off the area that we're gonna be lasering. I get laser hair on my chin and um, the top part of my neck, so she's making sure that everything is clean. Unfortunately, I had a TV segment before this, so I have a full face of makeup, so you see she is working hard to get that off, but generally you wanna make sure you take off your makeup, your skin is clean before you come. They will also make sure that it's clean too. All right, next thing is we have to make sure we put on our safety goggles. Super important because we are dealing with a laser when it comes to laser hair removal. So get those goggles on and your technician will be wearing goggles as well. Oh, and by the way, one of the reasons why I get laser hair removal on my chin is because I tend to get ingrown hairs and little hair bumps um, that got worse over the last couple of years. This is my chin with the area cleaned and you can see little areas of hyperpigmentation, dark spots where um, I've gotten little bumps uh, over the years from ingrown hair. So this is why I get um, laser hair removal and I have other videos on the ins and outs of laser hair removal. So make sure you check those out. This is just me going to get my laser hair removal. Here she goes. She is actually using the laser. It feels like a rubber band is snapping against your neck or wherever you're getting it done. You can get laser hair done on your uh, removal done on your legs, your armpits, your arms, your bikini area, your chin, a uh, number of different places. I get it on my uh, my neck and my chin, as you can see, and it feels like a little bit of a All snapping right, so feeling. Yeah. Um, this is an ice pack that she's putting on my neck and on my chin to kind of cool it off and soothe it a little bit. Um, and this is what she does after each area that she uh, lasers. Once we're all done, she then puts sunscreen and moisturizing cream on. It's really important to protect this area. Uh, you want to make sure that you're keeping uh, yourself out of the sun and protecting the skin. This is always you need to be doing this. Another ice pack for good measure. And this is how it looks in the light after the procedure. I will be back in four to six weeks for my next treatment.